Hello everyone. You are now in the sacred presence of Her Holiness Lady Gaga. Today I will be channeling my inner economist and answering your mundane questions on unemployment. Please attempt to stay awake or you will become my next underpaid stage manager. So at first I thought that frictional unemployment is about people having friction with each other, thus causing them to to unemployed. However, it is not. Thanks to my little monsters, they told me that it is actually a type of unemployment associated with normal labor turnover, aggravated by geographical immobility of labor and imperfect market knowledge. In other words, it is actually something like job hopping. Such unemployment could also be due to a lack of information concerning job opportunities. Therefore, the government introduces several initiatives in the use of fiscal policy, where they set up employment agencies to provide information on job prospects in other parts of the country or through other alternatives such as newspapers or online databases. With fiscal policy, unemployment benefits are also reduced. Campaigns on promoting company welfare are also introduced to reduce turnover. However, with monetary policy having a short-term aim, it's unable to solve the problem. Thoughts so, folks. We would like to warmly welcome international pop superstar and icon Lady Gaga to our show today. Hello, hi, hi. Hello, everyone. Hello, little monsters. Hello, Oprah. It's so nice to be here. Well, today we'll be talking about about your recent interest in economics. I understand you have some questions for me. Something regarding unemployment. Why? Yes. I want to know more about cyclical unemployment. Yes, cyclical. Now, I know you talk to lots of depressed and unemployed people every day, so I figured you would be the best person to talk to about this. I'm flattered you decided to come to Oprah rather than Ellen. Madam DeGeneres wouldn't know anything about this. She can only dance. Okay now. Cyclical unemployment is caused by weak local or foreign demand. I'm sorry, what does that mean? Weak local demand is for example, if you went to Saudi Arabia for your bonus way ball. They don't really know you over there so the demand for your concert is weak. That's terrible. I should dedicate a song to them. As I was saying, a fall in aggregate demand leads to a fall in output and production, leading to unemployment. Thus, cyclical unemployment is triggered by the strength of the economy. But how can monetary policy reduce cyclical unemployment? Monetary policy can be used by putting to action an expansionary Keynesian transmission mechanism. The supply of money is increased through the central bank, which lowers the interest rate. The lowered interest rate attracts more investment due to the lower cost of borrowing, which increases the aggregate demand. The increased aggregate demand is met with an increase in aggregate supply, which increases the derived demand of labor. This reduces cyclical unemployment. Oh, I get it now. But we don't have to care about that. We are rich. That's true. We were born this way, baby. You get a car. And you get a car. Cars for everybody. Hello, weird looking Star Trek guy. Are you unemployed? What do you mean by that? Do I look unemployed? Aggressive, pensive eyebrows and bangs that spell retrenched. I would say yes. Is it really so obvious? I admit it. I am retrenched. What happened, oh absurd one? I joined the Barky Young Players during the theater hype in the 90s. It was the most promising career then. The government had placed emphasis on developing the art scene. Then, the research and development sphere won the government's attention. In a span of 10 years, our troupe was decimated to only a small band of 15 players and I was among the last few who were retrenched. Me. A master actor. Is this what they mean by structural unemployment? I don't care what it is. I just know I'm out of a job thanks to the structural changes in the economy's focus. I should have listened to my yoga teacher and become a pop star. What does Adam Levine have that I don't? In conclusion, I would like to show how cyclical unemployment can be reduced by raising the aggregate demand. As shown here, the rise in AD is represented by the red lines, rising from AD to AD1. This causes the national income of the country to increase, from Y to Y1. 
This rise in national income translates to a growth in the country's gross domestic product. Not a tumor, but a growth. The rise in national income increases demand for production of goods and services, which causes the derived demand of labor to increase. This increase in demand for labor reduces the cyclical unemployment as more people find jobs in firms. The increase in employment increases the purchasing power of the households, who increase their spending on good and services, contributing to rising AD. The cycle repeats. I would like to thank the Democrats, Oprah Winfrey, the press Star Trek guy, and my little monsters for supporting me in my venture into economics. I will now resume writing and performing chart-topping numbers. Peace out, world. <laughs> <laughs>